Hey there guys and welcome back to Dead Rising 2 off the record. In the last episode, TK tried to flee the city in a helicopter. But that's bef that was before manly man Frank West showed up and destroyed the helicopter with his bare hands. So now TK's not going anywhere, he's locked up in the safe house and we're gonna go and rescue more survivors. Also, I can finally give this thing a go. The alien head we made uh, a few episodes ago. Boom, laser beams. Sets all the zombies on fire. Not entirely sure how that works, but who cares, it's hella awesome. So, he took basically took an alien mask, and the other ingredient were some gems. I'm assuming that's where the laser comes from. But what are those things taped to the back of the mask? Are they like batteries or something? Oh, jeez. Nope. No touching the alien. The alien is the one doing the probing, not the one being probed. And I will say, I quite dig this weapon. It's pretty decent. Against zombies, at least. I don't think it's that good against psychopaths and other human enemies. But whatever, it sets them on fire, watch them burn, and then when they die, they give you a fair amount of PP. 300 per kill, that is not bad as far as combo weapons go. At least it's probably the most out of any combo weapon I've used so far, as far as I can remember. Because generally, the harder it is to use, the more PP it generates. Like the spike baseball bat, that's the, the most common one, the easiest to use probably. That only gives you 50 PP per kill. And the more complicated ones, like this one, it's, it's not really more complicated, but it's more rare. So that gives you 100. Out of the, oh geez, security guard zombie almost hit me from behind, but not uh, quite gonna let that happen. He's, he doesn't seem to stop trying though. Coming through, karate kick. Ah, damn it. Off. No touchy feely. Gotta respect Frank's personal space. Alright, out we go. Because let's see, we needed to go to the hotel. Which is quite funny because we were literally just there with the whole TK scenario. And just once that's done, this woman decides to show up on the roof. Was she hiding there the entire time during the helicopter fight? I don't know, maybe. Maybe she could have helped at least. Anyway, beat up some more zombies for a quick little PP boost because we're only about halfway up to level 27. Uh, I wonder what the maximum level is you can reach. I believe it's 50 something. And I also believe that it is pretty much impossible to get that in one playthrough. So if you want to get your Frank West all maxed out, you will have to play the game multiple times, I believe. Well, I don't know, it might be possible to reach uh, a fairly high level, but you'd have to do everything. Like all the survivors and all the psychopaths. And somehow squeeze that in the time limit. I don't even know if it's possible or not. Anyway... Here's Lillian. Oh shit, she has a shotgun. Careful, Frank. Don't want to antagonize her like you've done with everybody else. Okay, so we need to go find her mom who's in the food court. And she's suicidal. Oh, uh, that's perfect. Well, at least they're not putting a time limit on this mission. So that's good. Food courts. Nah, yeah, I can... That's not that far away. Just uh, walk across the Silver Strip to the Slot Ranch Casino and then go to the food court from there. Yeah, we got this. Alright, let's go. Oh, what do we have here? Cement saw and a saw blade. I believe the cement saw and the saw blade do combine into something. Basically just the same saw but with a lot more blades. It's not really a very imaginative combo weapon, but it's a fairly effective one. Anyway, back to the hotel. And back outside. Uh, so much loading screens in between. Now, of course, I am cutting all of those out, but... Some of them go on for quite a while. It's not nearly as bad as Skyrim, for example, but... It's... It definitely gets old. Fast. Oh, look, a car. Just what we needed. 
Oh crap. Apparently you cannot carry the saw on a car, so well, we guess we won't be making that combo weapon. For now at least. I gotta love running over people. And that's all my uh, my little brother ever did in like Grand Theft Auto when he was little. I never quite understood that in hell I don't even like doing that nowadays. Like, he just played Grand Theft Auto, did not care about any of the missions or whatever. He just got in a car and started running people over or started uh, shooting people. That's just lame. I mean, sure, you have the option, but why would you want to do that? I mean, the game doesn't really reward you for it. And hell, I suppose you can also do it in Watch Dogs, which I've recently started playing, but there, once again, there's absolutely no reason to do so. Other than, her, her, look at me, I'm a psycho, I, I kill people for fun. It's just wrong. Anyway, food court, where is this mother? Not in here. Probably one of the other restaurants. Somebody? This one? Oh, she's in the Mexican restaurant. Yep, there she is. Oh, Jesus. Damn it, jump scare zombies. Hate them so much. Hola, senorita. Gotta get you out of the Mexican restaurant. Come on. A gun? Never did play with dolls. Well, who lets their children play with guns? Ooh, taco. Nom 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 nom. And some chili. Since when is chili a Mexican dish? I'm no expert on Mexican food, but I'm pretty sure chili is not Mexican. Oh well. Out of the way, zombies. Because she doesn't have a gun, so... Well, she did have something. Come on. Gotta move on, woman. Your daughter is trying to kill herself. You'd think, if anything, is gonna motivate her to start walking faster, that would be it. Also, Sith Lord Frank West makes his glorious return. 75 PP per kill, that's kind of disappointing. I mean, come on, it's a freaking lightsaber. Maybe that's why they kind of decrease the amount of PP you get from it, because lightsabers are cool and everyone would want to use a lightsaber all the damn time. And honestly, the lightsaber is not bad. It's got good range, it swings fast. Definitely one of the better combo weapons, I would, I would say. Come on, Camille. Maybe I can put her in the wheelchair. It'll help her move a lot faster. Uh, I've never had to sit in a wheelchair. I wonder what it's like. You know, you I, it might be mean saying this, but that would perhaps be something I would want to experience once in my life, sitting in a wheelchair. Of course, sitting in a wheelchair means that you're either going to break your leg or become a paraplegic, both of which are not exactly pleasant experiences, but still. It might be pretty fun being in a wheelchair. I remember uh, a few years back, me and one of my, me and a few of my buddies were going to a theme park, and then like the day before, one of them somehow broke his foot or whatever, and we had to wheel him around in a bloody wheelchair the entire day. Ah, uh, that wasn't very fun. I would assume it's more fun to be in a wheelchair than be the one pushing it. And I'm not exactly sure why the hell we were pushing in it in the first place, because isn't the whole point of being in a wheelchair that you're able to move it by yourself by, like, rotating the wheels with your arms? So I think he definitely took advantage of us that day. Oh well, come on Camille, back to the hotel. Enough of my personal stories. Oh, that is a huge mob of zombies. Luckily, I still have Wolverine claws, so just start hacking away. And see where that takes me. Also, we're almost at level 27 already. Oh shit, they got her. I'm coming for you. And she's free. Still stuck in a mob. Oh crap. Don't betray me. If you betray me, your daughter will kill yourself. That should be enough motivation for her to not betray me. Probably. Although, we told her where her daughter is. She's pretty much right... Next, where all she has to do is take the bloody elevator up, so she doesn't even need Frank anymore at this point. So, if we get a lead pipe to the back of our skull, we should not be surprised. Out of the way. Alright, road's clear, come on. Uh, a bowie knife and a sledgehammer, I'll take those actually. Because my lightsaber broke, my spike gloves broke. 
My uh, knife gloves don't really have much remaining either, so I should probably invest in some new weaponry. Alright. Come on, let's go find your daughter. All the way back there. Oh, looks like she hasn't killed herself just yet. That's good. Yes. Is she stuck? Oh no. Come on, there were stairs there. You don't have to climb up. Oh, there we go. We spotted her. Yay, happy reunion. Hugs with a shotgun in her hand. This picture would be a lot better if they weren't wearing any shirts. I know what? 2,000 pp, I huh? can't pass that up, I suppose. Come on, back to the safe house. And level up. Combo card. Electric versus sledgehammer plus battery. Sweet, we can make freaking Mjolnir. I have got to do that. I mean, we have the hammer, just need to find a battery somewhere. I do believe there was a battery in one of the maintenance rooms somewhere, and I can't really remember which one, though. So many of them. Okay, come on, ladies. Come on, get... Actually, I don't think it matters if they're in the elevator or not. Alright, and now... We're going to do short-sighted, which is pretty much on the path from here back to the safe house. So, three survivors in one go. That should get me a decent amount of PP. A lot of it, I assume. Maybe some other rewards as well. Oh! Nice! She's actually going to help me out with a shotgun. And the Wolverine claws are gone, so now let's use... Ice Cream Clown's Snowball Gun thing. Which isn't the most effective weapon, but... Well, actually... I take that back. It's actually pretty helpful. Doesn't really kill the zombies by itself, though. But that's what the other two people are for. The shotgun and the lead pipe can easily dispose of the ones I've frozen. And now it's depleted. And I kind of don't want to waste the sledgehammer because I kind of plan on making the electric hammer soon. I just need to find a battery, so I guess we'll have to stick to the knife then. kind of don't like that because the knife is relatively ineffective. No, 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 no. Ah, I want to do a suplex. Still haven't exactly figured out how to do that all the time. Oh, well. The short-sighted mission was up here, so... Yes, we're knee-dropping people while jumping up the stairs. It's not exactly how it should work, but whatever, I'm just glad it works, because that's really my go-to unarmed combat move against the zombies. Come on. Let's see, this way... Children's something. Ah, there she is. Okay, Esther, I'm coming for you. What are you doing here? I have to get my grandbaby a present. I'm kind of for shame. Think of it. Frank doesn't work here. She's much too young for those zombie toys. Wow, she is dense. Ah, come on, lady. Come on, speak some respect for your elders. Frank is getting so fed up with this shit. Strange enough, if a psychopath talks to him like that, he starts antagonizing them. When an old lady does it, he doesn't. Actually, are there any old lady psychopaths? I don't think there are in this game. Well, may if you... Maybe that, uh, that creepy singer lady from a few episodes ago. She was kind of old and nasty. Still think she was supposed to be uh, like taking the piss out on Madonna or something. Because Madonna is also old and nasty. Anyway, we have three people following me now. Well, two following me and one in my strong manly arms. So come on, back to the safe house it is. And of course, the old ass lady can't walk. Actually, it's probably better to just carry her because she is not going to be walking fast. But if she was talking about how she has bunions and stuff, so then why are you wearing heels? Heels are far from the most comfortable shoes there are. I've never walked in heels, and being a man, I probably never should unless I suddenly develop some sort of weird cross-dressing fancy but I don't see that happening but uh, yeah I'm always hearing women complain about how high heels are so incredibly uncomfortable and yet they keep in they insist on wearing them all the time don't get that 
Like, stop complaining, you're doing it to yourself willingly. Kinda takes away your right to complain about it. Come on. Almost at the safe house. I wonder if uh, Pete's... Wait, was Pete's wagon still there? I didn't see it. Wait, what the hell, Pete? I don't think his name was... No, his name was Carl. I'm thinking about Postman Pete. I think. Was that like some sort of children's cartoon or something? Come on, get in, get in, get in. And then I need to put her down for a bit. And then shut the door. Well, pretty much home free now. And back to the safe house. Level up. Whoa. I got a lot of PP from that. And defibrillator... Me oh, so that's what you can combine the medical tray with. Okay. Well, well, I guess we'll have to give that one a go sometime as well. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next episode of Dead Rising 2 Off The Record. Bye-bye.